Hello, everybody. So, I was curious and I decided, you know, I'm just going to nib nose a little bit. Mind you, this is like more to do with the ones who are attacking people than it is the uh, devil at the doorstep. But I don't know if I'm going to have that one uploaded before this one or after. But I just decided to start asking some questions because it's just like, who is this? Where is this energy coming from? The goddamn sun. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe I am. I don't know. We'll never know. I guess we'll have to find out, huh? But that's beside the point. The point is... Someone showed their cheeks through the pants. Look at them jiggle. Uh, didn't work in their favor. They actually ended up walking away from something. Whatever it was, they were all weepy and cry about. And they went searching for information. It's like they came in, like, looking for a battle, looking for something. Whatever it is, someone here, and I don't know who it is that be casting so many, many things on people. Uh, but they're not happy. They're not in a situation where they can be happy. The masculine energy in this... There's a reason why this King of Swords betrayed them, especially since they got, like, the wife and the kitty right here. Possibly a woman and child, possibly people with, uh, strong air placements, if not one person, but it definitely feels like more than one person. Someone with their kid and a child. Coming after the man. Why? I don't know. I guess they thought that, like, fucking with y'all, fucking with us, fucking with whoever, because we're all the collective in this branch of the fucking woods. We're the people that, like, no one wants to hang out with, but we think that, but they think that we do cool shit, so it's like, alright. Did you bring any snacks? Out? You know, but it's like, hmm, but. Whoever this masculine energy is, which, mind you, these are all air. This is all air with a little bit of earth. Fire, but it's all significantly red. They don't turn blue until they have to walk away from what they've done. And it's like... I said this earlier before I started the camera, but I'm going to say it again so this person or these people can hear it with their own ears from my mouth. The love of your life is never going to love you. Like, you know this, right? Like, like you were betrayed. You're coming, possibly with someone else. If not, it's just your energy coming in, all emotional, all wanting to decide what to do because you don't know what to do, but you don't know what's going on. But then when you come in to look at it, mm. so that's what I want you to know. Your love of your life is never going to love you. It might be a traitor. If you're bringing your child, trying to convince him to be a father, well, that's the wrong person to have picked, huh? Like, it feels like two Aquarius is breaking up, and it's just like, how the fuck is that gonna happen? Alright, is one of you even gonna leave? You know, like, that's what I want. Like, when two Aquarius are together and they break up, do they even break up, or do they just keep living in the space till they get back together again? This is an all signs read, but this is particular for people who have been casting stuff. <clears throat> it doesn't even have to be magic, it's just like names, curses, uh, just being bitchy about another person, you know? Like, I really want to just see what's up with someone and, uh... Well, why are they acting like a cunt? Why are you being a cunt? It's not ant. You're not being an auntie, you're being a cunty. The games they play. I even said that earlier. <laughs> That's terrible. King of Pentacles. Oh, this is the counter. Yeah, this is counterpart energy. This is a couple. And whoever's the masculine is the one that's getting betrayed. But it's for... I don't... Is it weird that I feel like the person who's betraying them isn't in the wrong? You know? Does that make sense? I feel like it makes sense. 
Like, something's wrong here. Page of Pentacles. This is someone... It, like... Okay, question. Ding, ding, ding. This could be... Well, I feel like I said this before. Or something similar to it. But someone's kid isn't there. So the guy figured it out. This is like the dude who sprung like a big ass package to the chick he was with. And she was just like, oh, this better be this vacation I thought about. Oh, is this the necklace I've been asking you for? And then it's a DNA test result that proves that it's not his kid. So he's just like, get your shit in your kid and get the fuck out of my house. But she loves you. She's your daughter. No, she's not. The same energy. It's like someone just figured out that um, a baby ain't theirs and it's masculine energy. But it's like, what the, what the fuck does this got to do with y'all? The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. They talk shit on you because they know they're not shit. This is just pulled out in the middle. It just stuck out. But they'll text you at 2.45 in the morning to help pay for a bill. Too many cooks, too many... Ew. Does... Does this person know who the father of their child is? Oh, I don't leave that look. Chess master. Oh. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me to. Someone's having a hard time dealing with this. They get anxiety. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me to my favorite staple blue jeans. What? Nobody likes you. They attempt to sound honest. They got a lot of credit, though. We gotta smudge the negative energy out of the room after the tarot reading. Because they love to hate and love to love to hate. Mm. This child could be the child of an earth sign and not an air sign, but the mother is bringing the kid around like, no, this is your baby, and it's like, motherfucker, he thinks. He thinks too much. I don't need that, it, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life, you know, that's what we're trying to say. It's just like, it's a weird way of putting it, but whatever. I'm just gonna do this quickly because I am intrigued and I really don't feel like wasting everybody's time. I don't think there's enough time to waste. There are games being played with the Ten of Pentacles. The old is playing with the... Wait, why? Okay, so the young's over here, but I feel like it sh shouldn't the older person be in the past? Those who've been playing games still they're an old person with their ghost at the bottom. Weird entry. There is a judgment called definitely could be dealing with the Libra. Uh, that someone is no longer scared. Mm, someone's burden. The older person's on this side. This is the masculine playing with the kid that they look. Mm, take their treats and run. And I'm sitting, wait, what the fuck? This person's scared, they're scared of getting out of the damn bag. They just want to watch what happened, but they want to stay comfortable. Yo, I'm just going to be honest here, it feels like... This feels like, and I don't know if I'm getting this correctly, so if you feel this in your bones, it might be true for you. It doesn't have to be. But this is just a story I'm seeing, but it's like... Was the individual... There's a main individual for a lot of folk, for all of y'all, right? And it seems as though their main focus for messing with you was, I think, to fix this mess. But I'm not sure... If that worked in their favor the way it did, it's like, they spent so much time, like, casting on you, they forgot about their own damn sins. They were trying to make you a sinner, and yet they needed to go to church. 
<laughs> Mind you, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb is the original saying to, um, blood is thicker than water. This isn't someone's child. And whoever was casting stuff on y'all... Why were they? Like, what the fuck was that supposed to do anyway with this? They got all this shit going on in the background and they got time to worry about y'all? Are you serious? They got baby daddy issues and they don't even got a baby daddy. Like, not the one that they're supposed to, but the one that they did have. Mm, they got the lovers up here, they got this dick over here, and someone wants to come raging in hell. No. Hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Sorry, I just decided to display that a little. <laughs> What's it this lovers? Like, seriously, how are they gonna throw all this shit your way and not look at what's going on? Oh, god damn, that's... There's a lover scenario. Oh, they acted like they wanted the bowl, but they keep climbing on the cage after the bird. Were they not satisfied? Wow, the fucking cage ever got their head stuck, and now the bird is flapping around everywhere, freaking like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. But in reality, he's just like, oh, oh my god, help me. It has claws. It's, you, look, teeth. teeth. What are the, what is teeth? It's never seen a pelican, but that's beside the point. Um, um, ten of toys. I'm kind of bothered by that. Mm. That's why they're under the table. Well, I mean, the, the last one knew better. This one's not too bright. Yeah, that's why he took his cat treats and ran, huh? Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. What is this person? What? Y'all, you're... This individual who's messing with you has a lot of problems, considering... Like, not even normal problems, just like... Like, Mari wouldn't put this on his show, I feel like. Because this is, like, too much. It'd be in the entire hour. He wouldn't be able to get the other guests. <coughs> Excuse me. I almost choked him a spit. Anyway. Oh, that's not nice. Who did that? Who did that? Your mom. Anyway. Motherfucker's coming back to holler. That's all he's gonna do is holler. Like, he's reversed. He's not gonna take any action. But he will scream across the room like a bloodsucker. Got a book. This person didn't fulfill the wish. They've been sitting there waiting to see if this person will take a nugget. Mind you, this is the three of treats and the four of treats, which makes the no three of treats, page of treats, page of treats and pentacles. This would make the four of pentacles all together. But they'd have to eat and accept that they're waiting for this person to accept it. Yet they're a hollering. They're a rage pig a hollering. Or is someone fixing the holler? Yes, sir. This one is. The Emperor! Got a cone on his head. Why is it got a... What? Okay. He was reversed earlier. Oh, he was reversed earlier. We had the King of Swords. But at the same time, they didn't feel like the same person because of the opposite poles, but, you know, whatever. Mm. It's on reverse. He's not happy. In control of his anger. His sadness, his depression, his frustrations with his uncomfortability in the situation. How everything's not working out for him. How he wants the real thing, not the fake thing. Okay, maybe they are the same person. They'll let you pet him? Hmm. Ooh, this person's calling them out on it. 
You want to act like you're in control, but you're obviously not happy about the situation. Now I realize this isn't even the real thing and you still want pets? You, you still think you deserve some cuddles. Would you prefer it with a brick or a sledgehammer? I can feel someone saying that in my spirit. I can feel my dick rise as a... I don't have a dick. But it sounded good. But... Mm. King of Pentacles. Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy or just the energy? It doesn't have to be. But, ah, someone's missing here. Because someone else avoided death. There's a foundation for sure, the Four of Pentacles. Based on the f the foundation is just like, mm, you're bitchy, you're bitchy. Someone's bitchy. Oh, total opposites, Cancer and Capricorn, the Devil and the Chariot. Who's moving forward with the Devil here? Or is a Capricorn moving forward? They're just getting comfortable right now, and they're about to chill with their new best friend, cute puppies. We got a puppy. It's the cutest puppers ever, and I'm kind of jealous. His eyes sparkle. Might have that weird shiny dot thing that moves around in the eyes, too. Hmm, let's see. Oh, they might feel a little guarded about it. They might, like, oh. Imagine raising someone to at least 10 years of age just to find out they're not yours. Breaks your heart, breaks the kid's heart, and now this individual doesn't have the honesty to tell you that. You know, I'm a woman, and I'm also a person who would be so happy to have a child, whether it's my own or not, I don't know. Might happen, might not happen, I don't know. What I do know is with men, Presenting something that is not of their lineage, not of their build, not of their legacy, doesn't help their reputation, compromises their resources, it makes them look at you like... Do I even want that to say? You know, like, stuff like that is gonna drive a man away. Like, if you can't even be honest with the man about who it, his child is, he's probably not gonna want to be with you. And the fact that someone went on with it for so long, I mean, like, that's what it feels like. It's been a minute. It hasn't, like, maybe not 10 years, but at least a year. Maybe three to five tops. But this has been enough to where, like, it dude's, like, screaming on the other side of the board. You're a dirty skank. Yeah, we know, we know. We, we, we've seen dude. She's literally brought the kid to help beg for forgiveness, to help um, mess with you. You know, that's what I feel like this kid's here for. It's like the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, daddy. But this isn't your kid. But the mother sure has posed this kid to make you feel guilty for not being their father when you were literally not even their dad. And if this kid doesn't know their dad, their mother did it on purpose. If you're just not finding out about it, it's because she's hit it on purpose. She even, she, whoever this woman is, because this has to be a mother, a woman. She's convinced her kid to help her lie to this man about being his child. And I understand as children, you know, like you don't understand everything. You don't comprehend it. You don't realize you're being used as a bad guy. But this kid is old enough to pretty much understand that they're helping swindle an innocent person. And this person's sick of it. And they're just like, well, you said you were my dad. So you got to say, no, 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 no. That's not how that works. I don't know who the fuck this is, but it's like, whoever this woman is, she got issues. She's putting the issues onto the kid. This kid is a flying monkey in the making. Because they don't understand that their mother is wrong. Or the child's female, too. I don't know. It could be that. She might just be doing what her mother does because she loves her mom. 
wants to be like her mom. I don't know. But this is like... This is not good. This, this is not good behavior at all. I don't know who's teaching her kid this, but this is terrible. And the thing is, I don't understand. Like, they got all these problems in the background. Whoever this is. Because I just happened to pull cards to see what was going on. I don't actually, I, like, I have an idea who mine might be, but it's like, what the fuck is this? Why is this happening? Do I really need to know? And mind you, like, the air signs, I even said that someone's fling didn't pay off, and now someone's got to sit through a 10-hour gaslighting session with somebody. The punishment is not earned. Because the snake was defensive. So then, uh, okay, death wasn't earned. The snake was defenseless, and now it's just getting punished. What? And then good things happen. When it comes to love. Not gonna lie, this is a person who would bribe a court official for a fake DNA test. After someone got a DNA test to prove that uh, it wasn't their kid. Which honestly, I'd bring in my own person to test it too. I would, like, if they bring in someone to do it, I'd be like, I would request a second opinion on that as well. I don't give a shit. I'll pay for it. It's like, what, $400? I can pay for that. It's worth the money. Money ain't nothing to me. I'm the one with the penis. I'm the one who's being told that something is mine that I did not create, and it has been a lie to me this entire time. And it's crazy. This is like really, this is a really weird situation. I'm kind of happy I'm one of those chicks who literally cannot do something like, I, I literally cannot do something like this. I'm not physically able to. Uh, which makes me feel a little bit better about myself, but it's like, damn, bitch, like, Hmm, I don't know. I don't know who's going through it, but yeah. This is a very different one. Anyway, this is this quick reading, y'all. I hope this helps you figure out who might be it in your life. I'm, I'm just saying, like... The person who I think... Is gonna do this... And mind you, this part, whoever it is, this guy, he's not going to get, like, death. The snake isn't going to get their head cut off because they were defending themselves. Someone could want to punish someone's happiness and their love in order to get them back in line. But that's not going to work. You can't just whip someone into being compliant and the way you want them to be, especially when you go and fuck with their feelings like that. What makes you think that you have the right to be angry at somebody? But you basically tried to ruin her life. And your own kids. Like. Uh. So. I feel like eventually you guys are going to find out about the situation. I just don't think that they. I, this is just me. This is what I'm getting. I don't think this person wants you to know this is going on. Whoever it may be. They don't want you knowing this is going on. But then again, I feel like this is only going on because of what they put at you. Because like I said, I think that this person has been taking care of this kid um, for a long time. But it's like, as soon as they started launching stuff your way, whether it be rude remarks, behaviors, this, that, whatever. All this shit starts coming to the surface. And if you are the man in this scenario, I suggest you not even deal with the emotions, because the emotions are a lie. And I can only imagine how heartbreaking it could be to have your child taken from you like that, and all of a sudden it's a stranger. I can't imagine how that feels as a man. Like, to put all your heart and soul into, like, a small little thing that adores you, and you can't even claim it. I mean, you could. But knowing what you would go through if you reject it already before it even actually happening, would you want to be the father to this kid? Knowing that the kid is even involved and willing and totally cool with lying to you. You know? 
Because I feel like the kid knew that this wasn't their father either. I feel like the kid knew when they were lying, too. But that's all I got. So I hope this helps someone out and helps... I hope it helps you figure out who you're dealing with a little better, too. Because this is, like, a very awkward um, situation. That I am so happy I am not capable of putting my... Like, of all the dumb shit I've ever done to myself, this is one thing that, like, I will never... <laughs> Oh. Being involuntarily fertile, infertile, my choice, does have its benefits. Anyway, you guys be good, be safe, stay suspicious. Be on the lookout for this coming up, because I am definitely curious about it. If this is going to pop up around me. Also, everyone's dealing with a lot of karma. Like a lot, so, you know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.